Iodine is an essential mineral necessary for the proper function of the thyroid gland. Iodine can be found in a variety of foods given iodine rich soil. Unfortunately, we find iodine depleted soil in many regions of the world, increasing the risk for widespread deficiencies if no other measures are taken. It is critically important to learn about safe and healthy iodine sources because you can easily get too little iodine in your diet and you can easily get too much. Widespread Deficiencies The most important step taken to ensure a proper iodine supply on a population scale was the introduction of iodized salt. It is one of the simplest and most convenient ways to improve your daily iodine intake. It is not the healthiest option though, given that a diet high in salt is the number one cause of death attributable to diet. Iodine is added to animal feed, increasing the amount found in animal products. Sadly, the use of iodine-enriched fertilizers in agriculture is not common, resulting in plant foods being generally low in iodine. As it is, higher doses of iodine are only found in a handful of foods, which are not eaten regularly by the general population. Iodine Sources Dietary sources of iodine include fish, seafood and sea vegetables. As you can see, these foods are not regularly eaten by the general population. And if you avoid fish or seafood because of contamination or other reasons, you are left with sea vegetables, which are even more uncommon. But indeed, sea vegetables, at least some of them, are the healthiest dietary source of iodine. You can think of them as the dark leafy vegetables of the sea. We will go through the best options in a moment. Iodine supplements can be useful. Sadly, the iodine content can vary greatly from what is written on the label. Still, a supplement can be useful, especially in times of increased iodine needs. Plant-based diets If you cut out animal products from your diet, which is generally a good idea, and you minimize salt intake, which is great, but you are not eating sea vegetables on a regular basis, you are likely deficient in iodine. It is unfortunate that cutting out animal products and minimizing salt on the quest for better health leaves you more vulnerable to an iodine deficiency. But wait, there is more. Cruciferous vegetables and soy products have goitrogens, which can negatively impact iodine absorption. But you don't have to worry about goitrogens if you get enough iodine on a daily basis. Cruciferous vegetables and most soy products are super healthy. We all need to ensure a proper iodine intake, even more so if we eat a plant-based diet. Iodine requirements. Here is a table for you to check your daily recommended intake. Please notice the increased requirements for pregnant and breastfeeding women. We included the tolerable upper intake levels according to the European Food Safety Authority. How well people tolerate higher iodine intake also depends on their goitrogen intake, which affects absorption, their physical activity, losing iodine via sweating, and individual factors like predispositions and the prior level of iodine intake. Therapeutic margin you may have noticed the narrow therapeutic margin between the recommended intake and the tolerable upper intake levels. Even though other authorities place the safe upper limit up to twice as high, the therapeutic margin remains quite narrow. Reliable food labeling regarding iodine content would be really helpful, especially for those that react negatively to high iodine doses and those with a thyroid predisposition or disease that really need to hit the sweet spot when it comes to iodine intake. So how can we ensure a proper intake and still stay safe below the tolerable upper intake? Well, with the right amount of well-tested and labeled sea vegetables. Sea vegetables. Sea vegetables like nori, sea salad, wakame and dals contain high amounts of iodine. In fact, a few grams of dry weight a day will be sufficient to cover your requirements. The numbers here show the average iodine content per gram dry weight. The algae Lithothemnium calcareum is often used in plant-based milk to add bioavailable calcium. We included iodized salt for comparison. 
Make sure the algae you buy are tested and labeled and use them accordingly. The iodine content can vary greatly, even within the same algae type. For reference, one nori sheet used to make a sushi roll weighs about 3 grams and may contain between 20 and 1500 micrograms of iodine. So it can either be way too little or way too much. So if you are at a sushi restaurant, go for about two nori sheets and maybe share your wakame salad with multiple people. Kelp and hijiki. There are sea vegetables that contain 10 times the daily requirements in a single gram. This is the case for kelp. So, in general, kelp should not be consumed unless when it is cooked with the cooking water being removed as 99% of the iodine is lost that way. Another algae very high in iodine is arame with about 20 times as much iodine as nori. The sea vegetable hijiki is also reasonably high in iodine but it is too good in taking up and incorporating arsenic into itself. It should never be consumed. Better stick with nori, sea salad, wakame and dalts. Daily routine So, with all this information, how can we cover our daily needs without spending too much time and effort? First of all, what is your current intake of iodine? Do you use iodized salt? Is iodized salt used in the processed foods you eat? Do you currently eat animal products, dairy, fish or seafood? Do you use plant-based milk with added calcium in form of lithothenium calcareum, which is a really good idea by the way. Your iodine intake is likely to be on the lower side most of the days. So we suggest to cover about 60-80% to of your daily iodine requirements with a well-tested and labeled sea vegetable. You can either directly snack a nori sheet or sprinkle some dried wakame or dulse onto your savory meals. If you really don't feel like eating dried algae every day, please make sure to get your iodine levels tested at your doctor's office. Then take a supplement according to your needs. Thanks for watching our video. Please share this video, especially with those eating a plant-based diet. See you next week!